how you can add checkpoints into your game in under two minutes. Start by adding an Area 2D to the player and to the checkpoint. Make sure you rename the checkpoint Area 2D to Checkpoint. Next, go into the player's script and add a variable called Spawn Position. This will be a vector 2 and it will tell you where your player has to go back to after hitting the spikes. Now, make sure you put this under the ready function. This just means the player's spawn position is set to whatever it starts as. Next we want to detect when the player enters a checkpoint, so you can go over here and attach a signal from the Area 2D on the player into the player's script, which should add this little bit of code here. This will trigger every time the player enters any area, but we want to make sure it's the checkpoint area, so we can just add if area.name equals checkpoint. This just makes sure that the area we are entering is the checkpoint area. Next we want to set the spawn position to the area's global position. This means our spawn pause becomes the position of the checkpoint. Next we need to make our spikes. If you're doing a tile based game, you can use scene collections with tile maps. But for now I think we'll just add an area 2D in. We want to name this area 2D spikes. And then back in the player script, under the area entered, we want to go area.name equals spikes. This makes sure the area we're entering is the spikes. Keep in mind, the solution only works if it's used in a separate scene and isn't the root node of the tree. Then finally, under the onAreaEntered function we had before, we want to check if the area name is spikes. Then, we set our global position to the spawn position. Now, if we test it out and we hit the spikes, just like that, we're back to where we were before. If you have a question, comment, or problem, make sure to leave it down below. So, I hope you now know 